going to set up a, a G120 with safety. Um, this drive's already been set up as a, a basic uh, communications. I've already added the uh, Telegram in for safety, which is uh, Telegram 30. Uh, note the uh, actual uh, address there of two. You'll need that later. And every drive will have a different address. And then I'm going to go to the drive and I'm going to uh, set up safety. Uh, you'll notice that it's grayed out when um, you go to it if you're online. Um, so we're going to have to go offline to uh, do the safety. Now, once you go offline, you can then, I'm just doing basic safety. All right, I'm going to choose uh, Drive uh, Profi Drive, and that's just for STO basic uh, safety, safe torque off. Um, there was a legacy uh, parameter set in there. That's just a parameter that uh, was for uh, another application. So we can just remove that. Or you can use it to do things like turn a, a the relay out and set a light on or uh, something like that if you want to indicate to the operator that uh, the drive's actually uh, in a safe state mode. I set the uh, the time out there to 800 hours. Uh, that's just a time for when uh, it needs to see an e-stop within that time frame. All right, now I'm going to download the offline file to the drive. Now it takes a, a minute or two. Uh, I just sped that up, but uh, now what I did offline has been downloaded to the drive itself. I'm going to go online. Now I'm online because we've turned it on, but we haven't uh, exercised any of the safety and reset anything. Um, we're going to have alarms and it's obviously going to be uh, in a, uh, a state that has to be uh, reset. So now I'm going to uplead the uh, drive itself into the TIA portal project. Make sure everything's synchronized, all the addresses are uh, synchronized, the safety address and everything that needs to be uh, consistent. And like I said, we, we're going to have some alarms here um, because we've now put a, a, a new device, a safety device, you know, online. So the best thing to do is then go uh, back to the program. I had already uh, put the blocks in for the uh, safety program itself. So we'll just go there. Uh, there's the uh, the master reset uh, as well as the um, reset uh, master reset to the block itself that controls the drive the, the drive safe block um, I've already had set up the the address of uh, you know uh, peripheral 2.0 and again each drive will have its own and you have to have this block for each drive uh, I'm going to go ahead and toggle the reset. That resets the drive and the uh, e-stop system because I used one master reset bit for both of those blocks. Then I can uh, go ahead and turn safety uh, e-stop off. And when we go to the drive, we'll see um, that we can start affecting a state change after a reset of the uh, alarm buffer. Alright, so there's the uh, STO active is off, which means the drive is not e stopped anymore. And the yellow light on the drive will go solid yellow instead of flashing uh, to make everything look happy in the project. 
uh, I just acknowledge the, the buffer of alarms. And the check mark goes green as soon as the buffer is reset and we're ready to roll. Now we can uh, go back and forth uh, to the actual program uh, and you can see the uh, safety state change uh, to STO active and STO not active. So you can actually see the uh, STO bit, you know, change live with the uh, actual uh, safety program. STO active means that it was uh, stopped, safety stopped. If it's not active, then you can run, which means that the yellow light on the drive is solid when it's able to run flashing when the uh, safe torque off has been activated, you can probably see stop. 